Lasagna is one of those favorites that everyone loves. Layers of pasta, creamy ricotta cheese, and meat sauce. You can't really go wrong. Welcome to Recipes by Karina, where I show you how to make classic and simply delicious recipes. Make sure to subscribe for a new video each week. We're going to start with the meat sauce, which is probably the most important part of a lasagna. There are a few tips and tricks to getting the perfect meat sauce, which I will share with you. Using a sharp knife, peel and dice a medium sized onion. If you would like the full recipe for this lasagna, it will be on my website as well as the full measurements listed in the description box below. I also have a few other pasta recipes, so if you're looking for any inspiration, take a look on my channel. You want to medium to small dice on these onions so they cook down. If you're not a pro at chopping or you just want an easier method, you can also use a food processor to give them a quick blitz. Just make sure to stop before they turn into a puree. Place a heavy base fry pan over medium heat and add about a tablespoon of oil. When the oil is hot, add the diced onions and cook for a few minutes, stirring occasionally. We don't want to brown or caramelize the onions here, just sweat them to turn them translucent. This recipe for lasagna will feed between four to five people, depending on how hungry you are. I usually make this size and save the leftovers for lunch or dinner another day. If you're feeding more or you just want to make a larger batch for leftover, because this lasagna makes the best leftovers, the recipe can easily be doubled. Just make sure you're using a large enough baking dish or else you might have a problem with a little overflow. While the onions are cooking, separate two garlic cloves from a bulb and place them whole in a garlic press. Crush the garlic into the fry pan using the wooden spoon to scrape it off. You can also peel and dice the garlic by hand, but using a garlic press is easier and so much faster. The cloves can go in whole, skin on. Just make sure you've got a good quality press so it can actually crush the garlic. Cook for a further few minutes, stirring. For this lasagna, I'm just using beef, but there are a few different options, it all depends on what you prefer. Just beef, a mixture of beef and pork, or a mixture of beef and Italian sausage. You'll need 500 grams, or a pound in total. Place your meat into the fry pan with the onions and garlic and turn the heat up to high, using your wooden spoon to break the beef up as you stir. The heat needs to be high here to stop the beef just stewing. As it cooks, the meat will release moisture and if that heat is lower, rather than that moisture cooking off and the beef frying, it will puddle up and just end up boiling what's in the pan. This goes for most recipes where you're frying meat. The flavour develops so much better with a hot pan. When the beef is starting to brown, season with a generous pinch of salt as well as a teaspoon of dried oregano. We'll be testing and seasoning the meat sauce before assembling the lasagna, some more salt and pepper can be added then. Continue to cook the beef until it has browned. For the sauce part of this meat sauce, we first need a third of a cup of tomato paste. I wouldn't say it's cheating at all, but tomato paste provides a huge shortcut. The amount and depth of flavour you get from tomato paste, you would have to be cooking tomatoes for hours. Add a third of a cup to the fry pan, no need to be precise with measuring here, eyeballing it's fine. You'll also need two tins of chopped or crushed tomatoes. Pour your tomatoes into the fry pan and using a wooden spoon stir to combine. The sauce now just needs to be simmered on a low heat. For how long really has a huge impact on how good it will taste. Minimum it needs to simmer for about 30 minutes but ideally somewhere between 3-4 to four hours for the best sauce. A good trick with this is to make an extra large batch, store it in the freezer for the next time you want to make lasagna. The second part of a lasagna is the cheese. You can use a Mornay sauce, which is basically a white sauce with cheese melted in, or the more traditional route is creamy ricotta. 
In a small bowl, add the ricotta cheese, about 250 grams or 9 ounces. To the cheese, crack in one medium-sized egg. The egg is going to give the ricotta more creaminess, take away some of that grittiness you can sometimes taste, while also binding it together. When you slice the lasagna into pieces, you don't want ricotta cheese spilling out, you want that perfect square. We're also going to grate in about a third of a cup of parmesan cheese for flavour. Lastly, add a pinch of salt and a pinch of nutmeg. If you don't already, make sure to add a pinch of nutmeg to all of your cheese or white sauces. This includes mac and cheese and even works really well with mashed potatoes. The nutmeg adds the perfect earthy, nutty flavour. Use a whisk to combine the ingredients together until you're left with a creamy cheese mixture. Cover and place in the fridge if you're making this in advance or set to the side to assemble the lasagna. Now comes the fun part, assembling the lasagna. There's no hard and fast rules here, you can do as many or as little layers as you would like, use whatever size baking dish you would like, shallow, small, high sided, it's up to you. I'm using a 25 by 20 centimeter or a 10 by 8 inch baking dish and doing three layers. To start, add about half a cup of the meat sauce to the base of your baking dish and spread out evenly with the back of a spoon. This stops the lasagna sheet sticking. Top with your lasagna sheets to completely cover the meat sauce. It doesn't matter too much if they overlap, just whichever way they fit best. I'm using instant lasagna sheets here, meaning they don't need to be pre-cooked so I can add them straight in. If you prefer a different type that you do pre-cook, they will work just as well. Top the lasagna sheet with a third of the ricotta mixture and again spread out evenly to cover the lasagna sheets with the back of a spoon. We will use the remaining two thirds of ricotta for the next two layers. Cover the ricotta with a quarter of the shredded mozzarella cheese. I like to use mozzarella as well as ricotta in my lasagna as it adds that stretchy cheese texture which with only ricotta I miss. Finally, top with about a cup's worth of the meat sauce, spreading out evenly. Follow this method twice more so you have three complete layers to your lasagna. For the final layer, add the lasagna sheets and cover with the remaining meat sauce. Sprinkle the last of the mozzarella cheese over the lasagna and you're ready to bake it in the oven. It'll need about 40 to 50 minutes at 180 degrees or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool for about 10 minutes before slicing and serving. Let me know if you'd like to see a vegetarian lasagna recipe. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipes each week. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you in my next video.